It is a cold day outside. But it is the next day. And today, today we are actually heading to Oklahoma. As much as I hate it, I'm trying to do the smart thing. Get stuff fixed on the Jeep before I head out into the wild. That way I don't have underlying issues. Originally I was gonna buy a belt, so if this one snapped while I was out there, I could get it fixed and worried about it later, but I think it would probably just be better if I just try to fix it now. That way I don't have to worry about the belt. So I got this torque wrench for like 35 bucks. They had a cheaper one for $30, but I'd rather have this nice, nice one. I accidentally gave my uncle my extension for a half inch because I thought it was his. So now I gotta go buy one. calling you guys to see if you can help me I need like a, just a welder who can like come tack weld a bolt on there so they can finish extracting it um, I have a friend where I live who would who'd be able to do it in like a couple of minutes but I can't find any shops here that do that or even can do that I just you know just a welder or somebody with who has a portable welder so the drivers since they're not certified mechanics, they only carry like equipment to change a tire mm -hmm. or like equipment to, you know, test your battery. But if you're looking for like a welder, that they wouldn't be able to help you with that. I gotta call Roy real fast and see. Hello. Hello, it's Trevor. Hey buddy. I'm making a bunch of phone calls. My son said he could do it tonight, this evening. Okay. And that way, if we could take it off, we could run it down there to his shop. Gotcha. But I didn't. I didn't know what your your plan or idea was. I hate to say this, Bonita, but I, I don't know. I think we should, you know, start seeing other people. No, it's it's not you. It's me. Okay, well, you know, it is you. But if you want to just, you know, if you would just stop having all these problems, you know, maybe we, maybe we could get along better, you know? I just feel like, I feel like you just don't appreciate me enough, you know? I, I do all these things for you, and then, like, what, what do I get out of it? Like, seriously. Like, it, even, even when you are helping me get places, like, you, you always, there's always a problem. There's always something else that, you know, I, you know, I try to, we, we try to do things together, and you always have to bring up stuff. It's... <sighs> I'm sorry, okay. I'm just, I'm just a little frustrated right now. But we'll work through this, okay? We'll figure it out, and we'll get like, you know, welding therapy or something. I don't know. Like couples. Well, I, I no, I don't think that most couples, you know, well, usually when you go to couples therapy, they don't expect, you know, a jeep to show up with the other person. And I, I don't even think you'll fit in the room. No, I'm not saying you're fat. I'm just saying you're just big. Ugh. It's just how you were made, okay? I don't, I don't know what to do with her. Oh, here, cover your ears. You know, I, I can't get the bolt off. And I did find a welder who said he'll, he'll come down and look at it, but I don't know when. Carol and Roy are trying to help me right now. Um, he said he'll come down here, here in a minute. He was going to actually pay for the belt that I was going to get because I mentioned that I was going to get a belt so I can put it on the Jeep so I can get back on the road. But then I decided to, you know, try to fix stuff and appreciate the support, you know, he's giving me. Really cool guy. Speaking of them, I had leftovers from dinner yesterday. I have not eaten all day and I am starving, so pulled chicken never tasted so good. How come nobody knows how to weld nowadays? This is why welding is so expensive, because everyone you contact can't, you know, do anything. <laughs> I'm half tempted to like buy vice grips and try to do it myself. You know what, I'm gonna try that. Forget this, forget everybody. I'm gonna try to do this myself. I got the support squad in. 
having a nightmare of a day. <laughs> Come to the rescue. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to do now, see if I can pop it off. So from there, we can maybe try to reach in there. And I got you up. Can we do it? Yeah, I had it on me. About there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. This was the secret to his workout routine. <laughs> so I didn't tell you. you change your pulley bolts? Yeah, you just drive a Jeep. You just always working on it. The secret to not stressing out is to have something that's more stressful to always be working on. <laughs> the bolt out and it looks really bad that was the threads that were inside so it's really bad all thanks to Carol buying me some vice grips <laughs> that got that's what got it out why is it so great yep there you go these were the magic makers that's right <laughs> thanks guys saved my life literally me and Bonita just had a conversation about you know maybe Breaking up for heaven's sake. Oh, no, no, no. In a couple hours. Thanks for all the help. You're welcome. You're welcome. Before I go any further on working on Bonita, I just want to give a huge thank you to Roar and Carol. You guys were super helpful getting the Jeep fixed up and just getting to meet you guys has been an amazing experience for me. I mean, Actually like meeting people who from uh, it, meeting people who I've never met before who have met me from my channel and have been watching my videos and stuff and then actually getting to be involved with them and then getting all this support from you guys. It's just been an amazing experience for me. Huge thanks to them and go check out their channel. They were going to be living in their Jeep soon. Oh, they don't have a channel. They're going to start a channel. Maybe. But go check out their Instagram. They're going to be living in their Jeep soon. Super cool people. Really appreciate it guys. One of my friends told me that the Jeep's speedometer isn't actually broken. He claims the reason it doesn't work is because there's four different positions and I have it on the wrong position. And if he's right, I'm going to do a backflip because I have been driving without a speedometer since Moab, Utah. Part of me hopes he's right and part of me hopes he's wrong. Just out of spite. Ouch! Bonita, why do you do this to me? So I'm down here at CJ's Coffee and Cafe. Pretty cool place down here. And uh, I actually got a free scone too. The barista guy gave me a scone. So we got Bonita all bolted up and the plan is now to actually head up to Oklahoma. So we're gonna go to Blue River and instead of going alone though, I'm actually gonna go with my new friends. So we're all gonna go up there, they're gonna go grab their trailer. We're gonna head up there and I guess just stay there. I don't know how long they plan on staying. They're cleaning a house right now, doing their little business thing. And then we're gonna go grab dinner, head up there. Should be a good time. I don't exactly know what we should expect. It's kind of in the air right now, but I know. Supposedly, according to the pictures, it's gonna be really cool. I wish I could go fishing. I don't have a fishing pole, but. I drove the Jeep back down here. I'm just kind of waiting to hear back from them. I uh, just wanna get a cup of coffee because I may or may not be addicted. But I'm just gonna kinda chill here, wait to hear back from them, and then we'll head up to Oklahoma.